everyone, my name is Kennedy Reed and welcome to Gold Souls. This is a brand new YouTube channel for me and I'm really excited to bring new content to you guys. I'm super excited to finally be making another TCM video. It's been two years since I've been to the festival and I couldn't be happier to be back. So this year I got to attend the fest again as a TCM ambassador which basically means that me and a bunch of other people get to attend the festival for free. We work with the TCM marketing team and we help to boost TCM social media presence by posting about everything that we see and do at the festival online using the proper hashtags and interacting with TCM fans. So I want to start off by showing you guys the goodie bag that they gave us this year. This bag was super helpful. I used it to carry everything that I needed for the festival, so it was really practical. We have the program guide, which was super handy. They have a list of every single movie that they're showing, and they have like detailed descriptions of the films and who worked on them and what special guests were gonna be attending the different screenings. This really intense schedule. I love this one actually. This is like one of the favorite, my favorite things that they gave us. Um, it's a journal for you to journal about all the movies that you watch during the festival or just in general. You just have um, the title of the movie, when you saw it, uh, the venue, cast and crew, quotes that you liked, uh, songs from the soundtrack, you have space for your thoughts on the film, and then you can shade in some stars to give a little rating. So it's basically like a physical letterbox, which is pretty nice to have, I think, uh, handy, and uh, it's a nice way for me to journal about my experiences during the festival, and from now on I can journal about all the films that I watch on TCM. And of course when you're waiting in line, you gotta have some film noir playing cards, obviously. We got a cute little magnet. I have my magnet from two years ago, so this is gonna go on the fridge right next to it. And now this, this I was really, I was really confused about this. CNN is a network that was founded by Ted Turner, who also is a name behind Turner Classic Movies. I got this little bag that just says CNN, the movies. But I opened this when we got it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see, but they're like, these little wooden things. It has CNN etched on the front and I could not figure out what these were. Like, I can see through them. At first I was like, okay, these have to probably be straws because it came with a pipe cleaner. I didn't want to assume. I texted my friend and I was like, do you know what the heck these are? And he had no idea. Actually last night I Googled wooden CNN straws and I found pictures of bamboo straws that look just like this with pipe cleaner. So now we know. They are straws. And I wanna show you guys my pass and lanyard. I had a classic pass. Our lanyards were red to signify that we were ambassadors. Um, since this was the 10th festival, they actually gave the 10 timers a really fancy little lanyard, which was really fun to see. I've got like a ton, ton of pins on my lanyard this year, which was really fun. So on day one, I saw Dark Passage and The Bachelor and the Bobby Soxer. So The Bachelor and the Bobby Soxer was one of my top films of the festival that I had to see. And it stars two of my favorite actors um, from my childhood, Shirley Temple and Cary Grant, who I have a significant crush on. They were showing a lot of Cary Grant at this festival, and as a Cary Grant fan, thank you TCM for doing that. This nitrate print of Bachelor and the Bobby Soxer was actually from Shirley Temple's private collection. I forgot how funny this movie was. Uh, it's, it's a different experience watching a movie like this with people because everyone was just dying of laughter. Um, the dinner scene is the funniest. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. The comedic timing of everyone in this movie is impeccable and Carrie really shines. I mean, he's truly one of the great comedic actors in my opinion, and, and this particular film is a lot of fun. On day one, I also got to check out Club TCM for the first time in the festival and see what they did with it this year. It was absolutely gorgeous as usual. And they also had two costumes from They Died With Their Boots On, which I believe is from 1941. They also had an original Darth Vader costume, uh, one out of four, I believe, from The Empire Strikes Back, and that was very cool to see up close. So on day two, I wasn't able to attend because I had a commitment with my university that I had to fulfill, but I was back on day three and four for the rest of the fun. On day three, I saw From Here to Eternity, Sleepless in Seattle, Nashville, and I saw Waterloo Bridge. So From Here to Eternity is the famous war drama from 1953 set against the backdrop of Pearl Harbor. We've got really good performances here from Burt Lancaster, Deborah Carr, Montgomery Clift, Frank Sinatra, and Donna Reed. And it was a really lovely uh, presentation. I had seen the film before on TCM, but um, this was one I felt like I couldn't miss on the big screen. I was absolutely right. If you ever get the chance to see this movie on the big screen, you've got to take it because it is gorgeous. So days three and four were really hard to schedule because this is when they had the bulk of the films like 
lined up and it was really hard to pick what you were going to do. It was hard to find time to eat food. Like I had a steady diet of popcorn for the past like three days, okay? On day three, I had plans to see a different movie in the evening. I can't even remember what it was now because the minute I found out that Jeff Goldblum was going to be at the screening of Nashville, I dropped everything. I had a couple friends from the ambassador program that got in the front row and I got there pretty late so I figured I was gonna probably be in the back or something. And I walked in and they were like, Kennedy, they had like one extra seat in the front so I like ran over there. One of my other friends joined us and we got to be like right in front of Jeff Goldblum when he walked out. It was so fun to, uh, to see him in person and to hear what he had to say about the film. And honestly, like the most fun part of it wasn't even like listening to him talk, it was like watching how he reacted to how other people talk. It actually ended up being a really interesting movie. I typically don't like films in this format where it's like three hours long and there's not really a main character. You've got a huge cast and it's there's no clear plot. It's just like events are happening and it's just life. The main thread in this film was country music and a lot of the songs were original and they were written by of a lot of the cast members that sang in the film. And I finished and, and I was kind of like, I don't know. For me, I need to walk out of the theater with the central idea. And it was a little hard for me to get one from this particular movie. But the interesting thing about it was that there were a lot of parts about it that I liked. The moments that they gave us were really intriguing. There was a song in the film that I actually really loved. It's called I'm Easy by Keith Carradine. And that was a moment for me that I really enjoyed. And I thought about that scene a lot afterwards. So even though I had a hard time with that movie, like I couldn't stop thinking about it. Like it's been days since I've seen this movie and I still can't stop thinking about it. So day four of the fest was really special because it actually fell on the 25th anniversary of TCM. And my mom got to be with me and I got to show her around Club TCM. And that was really special for me because my mom is the whole reason why I watched TCM in the first place. She got me into it as a small child and I watched it with her throughout my entire life. So this channel is something that we bonded over in classic cinema, something that I really think she's responsible for, for introducing me to. That morning I got to meet TCM host Alicia Malone and have a chat with her about some of my favorite films of the festival and some of her favorites. And it was really great to, to meet her and have a chat. I also ran into TCM host Ben Megowitz. I met him two years ago actually at the festival and so it was fun to, to say hi and, and chat with him for a little bit. The movies I saw on day four were Holiday, Marty, and Open Secret. Holiday is a film from 1938 starring Cary Grant and Katherine Hepburn. Now, this was a film that I watched as a child. It's actually the very first time I ever remember seeing Cary Grant on screen. And it's just a wonderful, wonderful movie. Both um, Grant and Hepburn give incredible comedic performances and um, it's got a really hopeful feel to it. That was probably one of the most memorable screenings of the festival for me. Another film from day four that I loved was Marty from 1955 starring Ernest Borgnine and it honestly got me kind of emotional. I don't really get emotional watching movies and TV shows and I, I've i never cried watching a classic film. That's just me. I know a lot of people cry watching classic cinema and I personally haven't but I got, I got a little choked up. You gotta watch it. I can't wait for next year already. I'm already thinking about next year and um, it's been so fun to be able to be a part of helping TCM in, in any small way and to be able to hopefully get people my age interested in classic cinema by posting online. My favorite thing about the festival is this is the closest you'll ever get to feeling like you're in the movie theater in the 1940s or the 1930s and 1950s. It's kind of like sitting in a time machine and getting to go back and, and, and really know what it was like to watch these movies when they came out. Being able to sit in the theater and, and laugh with everyone and, and to hear people's reactions to the films is, is always so exciting and it makes everything come alive. To know that these people in these movies and that created these movies, most of them are no longer with us and that their work it lives on and is still enjoyed by people today is, is such a wonderful feeling. Wonder what they would have thought if they knew that there was going to be a festival celebrating them and their work so many years later. So in closing, I just want to say thank you to TCM for this wonderful opportunity to be a part of what you guys do in any small capacity is such an honor and I can't wait to see what the festival holds next year. So feel free to like and subscribe if you want to stay up to date on this channel. I'm looking forward to sharing new videos with you guys. If you're interested in uh, the film festival and you want to learn more about it and want to learn more about being an ambassador, feel free to leave a comment below. And also if you have anything you want to share about any of the films that were shown, um, especially Nashville, if you see Nashville and you want to share some thoughts about it, please feel free to let me know. I'd love to hear what you have to say. So until next time, I'm Kennedy Reed and this is Gold Souls.